Hi there, I'm Heidi Swap, and today I want to show you a cool alternative way to bind just a regular album. Um, this particular book, and you guys, I love this, and I'm really excited to share it with you. This, I love this little album. It's an 8x8 Color Magic Butterfly album. And when you buy it, um, it comes with, it's just a chipboard album, and it comes with a bunch of papers inside. This paper is like gold, okay? It is the thick, heavy, wonderful Color Magic style paper that is great for like using um, with the stencils and the tech, do all the cool technique stuff on this paper. So when you get it, have fun with it, right? Um, but the, the, two the two album covers are just plain white. I mean, they just look plain white, raw on the inside, but it is color magic. The, the set also comes, you can see these three holes here, it also comes with three binder rings. And um, so, you know, it's really easy just to buy the, buy the book and use the binder rings and, and have fun just as is. But I want to show you a really interesting way to do something a little bit different. And so this is what I'm calling an, an alternative binding because I've actually used paper to bind this album together and then used the cinch to put all of the pages inside. So it's a completely different type of a book. Now, obviously, this technique, you don't have to use the butterfly album. You can use two pieces of chipboard to use this technique, and that's why I really wanted to show it to you because it's really kind of cool. So um, let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is that I'm going to go ahead and add some color to my butterfly album so that at least you um, can see that there's something going on here. And um, I, I just... Ad adore this little album. I love the, how the little butterflies pop out and I love that you can color them unique and I like to stamp inside the butterfly's wings and um, you can just be really creative here. And so you can see that I added multi-colors of um, color shine to color the butterfly's wings. Um, but you can also like add color right directly onto like a makeup sponge and if you, if you press a little bit harder, it's going to um, get a little bit darker. And as you look at this project right here, see how I've used stamping, because you can stamp right inside those shapes. And you can even stencil inside those shapes. So you can really have fun with those little teeny miniature butterfly canvases. I love that. Okay, so now at least we kind of can see what we have going on here. And again, once you spray on this cover, you can go back with the window cleaner and clean off the resist area, which makes it really nice. Um, the other thing that I did was I went and I added some stenciling, and obviously you can see that I've added lots of embellishments on the cover, which makes it even more fun. Okay, so here's what we do. The back, I should show you, um, I'm just gonna add some multicolors because I can, and it's pretty, and I like the front to kind of match the back. So you can see that as I added the color, I get this pretty kind of sunset -y look in just a few minutes. And you know what, if any of you are looking for a project that is great to do with kids, this is, it's magic. It makes them so happy and it's so easy for them to do. And um, they can make it their favorite color. And this is just a really great type of a project to include your kids in on. Okay. Then what we do to complete the binding is that you need two pieces of paper cut to eight and a half inches long by 11 inches wide. All right, so I'll say that one more time. Eight and a half inches tall, that's the height of our album, to 11 inches wide. And we want one of our um, papers to be the inside that will, I'm sorry, that will be the back of our album and that will wrap around to the front. And then one of the papers that is gonna be the inside of our album. So basically the very first step we have is to cover the raw portion of our album. And I think that I'm gonna have this fun rainbow um, effect. That's gonna be the outside. I want this to wrap around the outside of my album. So what I want, I'm gonna go ahead and glue my paper to the raw side of the back of the album. So this is the album back, and this is going to actually be the inside of our album. I'll flip this around so you can see the inside of the album. This is what we're creating right now. So 
I'm going to, I want the extra, the long portion, to be on the side that has the holes, okay? So I'm gonna use my, bar my basil marathon runner, and I wanna run my adhesive right around the outside edge, all the way to the very edge, and then I like to add just a couple of diagonal pieces on the inside. All right, then I'm going to, uh, I think I'm gonna do it opposite. I'm going to line that right up so that I'm completely covering the raw side of the chipboard. And then this extra little flap is on the edge where the holes are, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and fold that over right there along the edge. Now you can trim it up, like I've got these little cute little rounded corners that I'm just gonna trim. And I wasn't as perfect as I would have been at home because you know, you guys always make me so nervous. Okay, so there's the back, I'll set that aside. And now I'm going to put the piece that will be the inside front cover. So again, my excess needs to be where the holes are, okay? All right, so here's the little sneaky secret part of this binding. I'm gonna take the cover before I even put the paper on the back, on the raw side. I'm going to put it in my trimmer and at one inch, put it in at one inch, and I'm actually going to just cut, <laughs> cut down the front, all right? So you're gonna put your trimmer, you're gonna put the cover into the trimmer to one inch and we're gonna cut. Now your trimmer's not gonna cut the album all the way through because it's chipboard. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you've got one of those guillotine style, you don't wanna use your guillotine style trimmer to do this, okay? Because it probably will cut all the way through. But we only wanna cut the first couple of layers. We still want this to hang on for us, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna bend it back. All right, then we're gonna go in with the Basil Marathon Runner. And again, you're gonna add the adhesive all the way to the edge and a couple on the inside. And then also the paper, want, you wanna put the excess paper to the side with the holes. All right, so line that up, lay it down really good. All right, now we're gonna wanna let the fold happen where that, where that crease is, okay? So we have this fold and the excess again should be where the holes are. Okay, so now we're ready to rock and roll. This is gonna be the part that goes around the front. This is gonna be the part that comes on the inside. What's gonna happen is we're gonna fold back this paper and this inside, the part that we've cut, the extra part that's holding, that, that's apart, is going to get glued down first, right inside, and our two chipboard pieces are going to meet. So if, if I can show you overhead here, these two chipboard pieces will meet. So I'm gonna put my adhesive right here on the part that I've cut, and then we're gonna glue it right there in place. So I'm gonna use my Basil Marathon Runner again, and I want to put my adhesive right to the very edge. Make sure that if you're using, whatever adhesive you're using is a nice, strong adhesive. Okay, now, I, see how I'm kind of folding up the paper? That's okay. I wanna just make sure that I'm lining, I'm lining up the chipboard and I'm lining the top to the bottom of the paper. And we just wanna make sure that that's sticking down really nicely. All right, so if I could, show you here, this is now stuck right next to or butted up to that chipboard piece that is the back. All right, now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and glue this inside flap down. And so I'm gonna use my tape runner on the edges, right to the edges of each one of these papers so that I get a nice clean um, adhesive adhesion. All right, so then you're just gonna kind of work it, work your paper a little bit so that it will fold. All right, all right. Now, as I fold it around on the front, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to add my adhesive on this front layer as well. 
make sure that it wraps all the way around. And I'm going to have to, you know, just finesse it a little bit. You want those creases to be there so that they're going to work with you. But that paper that's on the inside, this inside paper and the outside paper is what's going to hold this binding together. And the more that the album gets worked, the more that that paper will um, adjust and be flexible to that position. So now that the cover's done, you can see that I have added some of the Color Magic paper in and backed it with some of the Serendipity paper pad paper. I've used stencils and lots of the different elements um, from the Serendipity paper pack to create the whole album. And then I bound it all together along this top edge using my cinch. So it turned out really fun and it's really a great different way to bind an album. So whether you're using the butterfly album or you can use two pieces of chipboard or a different type of um, album cover, you can use that fun, this fun paper binding alternative to create an album. So grab some paper and some scissors and some glue and make pretty stuff.